Another good question coming our way. Should we respect other people for their beliefs, or should we press our belief on them? Good question. I guess what does it mean to respect other people for their belief? I mean, it depends on the belief, right? I mean, if, if someone comes up to you and says, I, be I believe in leprechauns. Now, I, I don't know why I went Irish with that one. You could be French and believe in leprechauns or Russian, South Korean, South African, or maybe even from Alabama, who knows, and believe in leprechauns. But if someone tells you, I believe in leprechauns, you're not going to really give them the time of day, right? You're going to be like, <laughs> okay, crazy person, and, and go on. Or I believe in unicorns or the Loch Ness monster. Well, well, Nessie maybe, who knows? You never know in those locks in Scotland. Uh, Bigfoot, stuff like that. Or I don't believe in the moon landing. Something like that. You, you hear some of these, you go, okay, whatever. But other beliefs are a little more, little more real, a little more serious. Like um, if they follow the teachings of Muhammad or Judaism or Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Tao, you know, um, what, what is the other one? I uh, had Taoism. You have all these isms. Do we, res and what does it mean to respect them? means you, you don't bash these people. They're human beings as well. You treat them as such. Hear them out. What, what is this belief? Why do you believe this? Ask good questions. Don't ask questions to make yourself feel better. Ask questions so that you can actually delve into why they believe what they believe. And then when you're talking about your belief, you're kind about it. Because guess what? You're not, you're not the one who saves everybody. Jesus did. Jesus does. He is the one that saves man from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. Not you, not me. So when we talk to people about our belief, it's not that we're trying to convert them so God will love us more. We're just sharing the narrative of how great it is to be a Christian. So you never press your beliefs on someone. You just talk to them about how great it is to be forgiven, how great it is to sing Lutheran hymns, how great it is to go to the divine service, and Bible study. It's as easy as talking about your favorite brisket or your favorite baked good. Like, here's the thing. No one's going to talk about, like, uh, uh, German chocolate cake. That's just weird. You know, if anyone says German chocolate cake's my favorite type of cake, then I'm going to be like, you, you have devout faith because I can't do it. I tried, didn't work. But the reality is if you talk about, like, your favorite dessert, it's easy to do because you're not offended about it. Talking about Christ is as easy as talking about a good cupcake. You're not going to lose any sleep because someone didn't like it. But at the same time, there's joy in talking about it. And that's how it is with Jesus. So yes, we respect other people and their beliefs, meaning we treat them equally. Love others as you desire to be loved, that second great commandment. But then how do we talk about our belief? We talk about the joys of it. And if we're always just trying to get in a fight about belief, then maybe we're trying to justify our own selves, trying to make ourselves feel better about what we believe. Then that's a whole different ballgame. We have to re-examine why do I believe what I believe? Am I trying to convince myself? Or am I already convinced and therefore giving that same joy to others? So hopefully that helped answer it for you. If it didn't, message us. We'll try to address it more. It's fun times. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.